right, so then let's just get started. I'm Jacob Beck. I work here at the Autonomy Incubator. I recently graduated with my degree in mechanical engineering from the Pennsylvania State University. And in the fall, I hope to um, study robotics as a PhD student at the Oregon State University. Okay, so a common problem we have when using our drones is we want to be able to land somewhere, pick something up, and then go back to where we started or drop off that package somewhere else. Right now, the hardest part of that we face is landing precisely enough on top of that object that we're able to grab it. That's where I got the idea for this robot. I call it Spiderbot because, as you can see, it has a web like a spider. So you can imagine that this is attached to the bottom of a drone. Let's say we want to, this is our target. This is what we want to pick up. So we swoop in and for the purpose of demonstration, I'll say we managed to land directly over the target. So this little guy will let itself down. Grab the target and then pull it back up to the drone. But that's under uh, ideal circumstances. So let's put this back. Now let's imagine this time, this is as close as we managed to land. So I will let us back down. And this is where we end up. Now what we can do is search for the target. And then once we've found it, we can approach it and then grab it again and pull it back. By doing this, we extend the uh, work area of the drone to the length of basically these cables that attach this robot to the drone itself. Right now, this is about as high as it'll lift the legs when it walks, but you can see these motors or servos are actually capable of lifting up the legs much higher. So with a few programming changes, the idea is that hopefully we'll be able to get it to walk up to taller objects like this, wrap the legs around it, and then pull it back to the drone. Right now we're focusing on um, using the camera for identifying and tracking to the target. I'm working with Egan on that. He has some really clever stuff with um, recurrent neural networks for um, identifying things visually. And so I'm hoping to integrate his work with mine and to use that as feedback to control where this goes. 